Good evening, I'm Leila McKinnon. Welcome to A Current Affair. First tonight, the Kiwi invasion. They're moving here in record numbers. But New Zealanders say they're being treated like second-class citizens. Now they're campaigning to get the same benefits as Australians, including the dole. Well, I would just like to be entitled to the same benefits as any other immigrant. It's discriminatory, it's unfair, it needs to be changed. Give us a fair go. It'll turn the tap on, it'll open the floodgates. Five-year-old Toby Benzeman is a Wallabies fan who knows the words to our national anthem better than many of us. We have gold and soil and we but because his parents are New Zealanders, Toby is missing out. Toby's got quite a complex range of um, mild disabilities. Toby was born at Sydney's RPA hospital at just 24 weeks gestation, weighing 600 grams. The best medical care in the country helped save him. But because his parents are Kiwis, this little Aussie battler can't access the full range of treatments he now needs. Now this one says Simon. Unfortunately we're having to pick and choose which specialists and therapists he sees due to the cost to us. Despite being born here, Toby has to wait 10 years to get citizenship. His parents can never get it. Do you need help? He receives 15 speech and therapy sessions per year through Medicare but Mum Angela says that's not enough. iPad. If we had access to more funding, we'd be able to do a lot more early intervention with Toby that we're not currently able to do. I'm not advocating that as soon as Kiwis come over here, they, they get everything. Oh, Kim Bali. Thanks for coming. Actor Roy Billing plays an Aussie character oh so well. Turn around, kneel down. Okay, there you go. Fred Hollows. But he's actually a Kiwi who, like many others, moved to Australia to become a household name. You've got Fred Hollows, the Finn brothers, Farlap, you know, give us a fair go. We're all Kiwis. We love, we love it here. Roy became an Australian citizen nearly 20 years ago before the rules changed. He says the current system is unfair. 600,000 Kiwis living here who pay about five billion in taxes, so... It's not as though they're bludging off the system. <laughs> and now all those Kiwis are demanding change. We want to become citizens, be able to vote, uh, uh, have some effect on how our tax money is spent. Well, Toby will be going to school this year. David Faulkner yeah, is from Oz Kiwi, a lobby group formed after the introduction of the National Disability Insurance yeah. Scheme. <laughs> New Zealand citizens working in Australia will pay the extra tax to fund it but can never use it. It's discriminatory, it's unfair, it needs to be changed. Oz Kiwi is lobbying for the same rights as Australians who move to NZ. Voting after one year, welfare and sickness benefits after two, and citizenship after five years. A big difference to their rights here. The waiting period is forever for New Zealanders, forever for citizenship, forever for a student loan. Um, and it's a 10 year waiting period for a once off single payment of unemployment or sickness benefits. The citizenship rules changed in the Howard era. Kiwis can still live and work here indefinitely, but if you arrived after 2001, citizenship is almost impossible. Actor Russell Crowe moved here when he was four and was even honoured as an Aussie legend on a postage stamp, yet still doesn't qualify for citizenship. Since these restrictions have come in in 2001, migration from New Zealand has actually increased. It shows New Zealanders come over here to economically better themselves. They haven't been coming to bludge because they can't. The idea of not giving them access to these benefits was to say, hey, don't come. They've still come anyway. Gary Hardgrave is a former Howard government minister turned radio commentator who has concerns about the number of Pacific Islanders who freely migrate to Australia via a New Zealand passport. I don't think it's the back door, it's actually the front door. It's the only door. I mean, it, you just fly across. The latest statistics show of the 40,000 Kiwis who migrated to Australia last year, a third of them, or 13,000, weren't actually born in New Zealand. They get no support. 
They get absolutely no settlement services support. They don't get any English language training. They don't get any skills on how to be part of our society. You know, the advertisements in New Zealand are sun, sand and surf, you know, and lots of work. Vicky Rose runs a neighbourhood centre on Queensland's Gold Coast that helps the growing number of Kiwis who move there but struggle to find work. There's no help for further education and that's actually one of the biggest contributing factors, I think, to the problems here. Chief Superintendent Stephen Hollands also says New Zealand citizens are overrepresented in Gold Coast crime statistics. It's a lack of social infrastructure and um, uh, money issues, accommodation issues uh, and, and generally a lack of support networks in place. If you think the trickle of trouble we've got right now is an issue, open the floodgates up by giving everybody the doll, it'll be a damn burn. There are too many New Zealanders here who are now second-class citizens. Population researcher Dr Bob Birrell says those Kiwis already living here are suffering. But it will only get worse while thousands more keep flowing in. I think it's a disgrace that the Australian government has just allowed this situation to fester. We need to provide them with access to residency and citizenship, but at the same time, turn off the tap so that it does, the problem doesn't get worse. Poor Toby, I don't think anyone would begrudge his family some help. And uh, I think the Kiwis may, raised a few good points there, but the Immigration Minister says there are no plans to change these arrangements. Let us know what you think, and the full statement is on our website.